Schön. Also guys, the last food now. You guys are early. It's not what you're tasting this. Besides so actually going live and seeing my video. How do you guys like a new live setup? Let me squire in the I want the light of the holy shit. Taking two minutes just to wait for the rest of the people and just to What's the white one? Is that the white one? But now they will be able to see ya. Will they? You can just put the camera down. Can you guys see? Get the scene. Now you can't see because it's screen protector. My screen protector. Now I can't see the comments and shit. Look, here's the premise of the video. First row, <laughs> first row, see that was a Titus. Oh yeah, my bro, Connor. I'm going to put the mount back. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, oh, yeah no, that's quite. Yeah. So the, my bro, now the screens, the screen, what's this name, protect now I can't see the comments. At least, at least one of you sit here and then you just go through the comments. Nah, no, that's quite, my bro. Okay. Look professional now, look, you look almost like it's set up here, boy. You gotta be my ride. Now, for me, for me, I'm okay, I'm going to go to me. Oh, you're watching me there. How's it, guys? For me, I can't read the comments from this phone. No. Nee maar, laat het me stoppen van mij kijken. Die hele premis van die video na. De hoofdpremis van dit video, we moeten stop speaking Afrikaans en tune me is very unprofessional. Is a Q and A, so questions and answers. You guys now can ask us anything pertaining to Asel. Like where the Asel started. Where you guys putting that on? That Tuiza will be nice. Where is it Tuiza? Where are the Malay tunes? I don't know. There's no Tuiza there now. Oh, Peter. Peter, where is it now? Yo, does Owen see everything, my bro? Oh, they see that, that twizzer, that's chemicals, my bro. Oh, look. Yeah, really now. But look here, wait, where is that wheel? Bring on wheel, go here, man. <coughs> While we wait for the other people, Noor did a set of Audi wheels. How's it, Ivandre? Talala, how's it? Lekker, lekker, Adrian. Wait, I'm not Kijk hier, as you guys know what we must all eat today. So that's lekker krom leftovers my bro. Kijk hier, zout vlees. Hoene uh, keri biryani. How do you guys like this wheel my bro? So in order to this wheel now. What, 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 what will you do here? Well I removed the, the cabras. There's a lot of cabras here. So I took it to my buddy Lotus in Market Street. Uh -huh. For those who don't know. Um, mm -hmm. He does all my welding for my wheels. So if you guys need any aluminium welding or your wheels welded you guys can go to him or you can work through me but it doesn't matter and then i grind it down i polish the lips using certain compounds which i will still make a special video for you using this wheel yeah um this is a three-piece coffee table i'm gonna be i'm busy in the process of still making uh, a video out there showing you guys how i'm going to polish the lip um, removing the studs and taking the wheel apart and getting it these to how it easier and then polishing it and painting it or whatever <coughs> is that another three the two piece the two piece over here so we got a, a two piece original bbs rs764 that came from the golf 3 cabriolet how's it logan i'm gonna check you on my answer your question so, now or... yeah also if anybody does have um studs that come from this wheels um uh, please do let me know i need studs reason being is because uh the studs on the one wheel has uh broken off so as you can see there um only three of the studs managed to make it out safely the rest all broke off so uh if anybody has bbs studs like this i don't know if you guys can see here yeah? i'm gonna try and zoom in focus 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 god i'm in focus okay can't focus right now but it has a small little bbs uh logo on it so you can't just use any studs from there technically you can but that's gonna drop a value of the wheel so that's why we're looking for the original oem bbs nuts so uh, for those that keep on asking Noor does the wheels, Noor and Fonzo over there and then I do all the styling parts as a straight owens now we Logan asked do you need a fuel injection gas or sale for good price that side my bro this that stuff is super pricey now the implant has the implant got the live velos 
They are very pricey. They are very sought after now, my bro. So, um, if you are going to get one for cheap, it's probably have work done to it, bro. That's my now just the way it is. But um, you guys saw Lance there. He commented, you guys can ask him. He's by Macau with the hassle. How's it, Brendan? Okay, cool. So, we're going to start with tonight's video. Without further ado. You know, is I don't it... No, I am. I'm just not allowed to promote it. Oh. Yeah. Where are the cupcakes, my bro? What are those cupcakes here? I saw leftovers, my bro. So without further ado, as you guys saw in the little shorts that we made and in the post, we're going to be discussing tonight, no? Bike throttles or ITBs, what do they call it? This year setup, no? We have done a video of it before, but it didn't look exactly like this. And Owens have a lot of questions, even though um, there's probably a lot of things I left out in the video, so I thought, no, let me go live and um, answer your questions. Yeah, so you guys can feel free to ask me questions pertaining to this. I myself, before I did the the conversion, I watched a lot of YouTube videos. There's not a lot of forums per se, and there's a lot of things that they leave out, like small technical, difficult, technical, um, what's this name, uh, information. So I thought, nah, man, look here, let us share. And I mean, that's what the side hustle garage is about. Well, you don't want to keep this little knowledge that we do have for ourselves in the twin cam setup. The, that's why we documented everything. So instead of me explaining to one guy and then another guy and another guy, we just decided to nah, just record it, everything. And if you guys want to go that route, all the information is there for you guys. You can either use it or you can like, nah, last is owners don't work to my, what's his name, for stands, eh? But uh, it's completely up to you. It's completely up to you, my bro. We're not losing out on anything. But um, the throttles, no? So, majority of the owners, they go with the 20 mile throttles because it's, 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 very, it's very common. It's very common. The silver top and the black top, no? The 43 mils and the 45 mils. Uh, how is it? Yeah, so good no voice, really. The, every month, in, like the last Friday of every month, we do the voice roll stand. So, um, yeah, they say on the seabar, the carbs is just plain custom intake. Easier said than done, uh, Brandon. I had the bike carbs uh, on my little 1400. No, uh, you have to check out the layout of the engine. Um, like my 1400, the engine itself is not level, it's laying to the back. So, if you have your carbs, the carbs has floats in it. So, ideally, if you're looking at from the passenger side, my, my throttles or my bike carbs are sitting like this, but in a slight angle, meaning there's more fuel in this float bowl than the other. So he's sending order. So that and the fact that your bike carbs, no, it has a, a little float bowl with a car with a with the fuel sets, and you have to compensate for that. So uh, the majority of the time, the carburetors are angled. They have different angles, no. So that's why I say you can't use the same, you can't use the same intake for different carbs. They're all unique, they're all different. Uh, I think we did a video on uh, carbs versus throttles where I explained that. But um, not to get off topic tonight, I just want to show you guys what the bike throttles look like. Not to show which bike these came from. This brand over here is Mikunis. No? And then these are our Mikunis. You will check the other side if you see the Mikunis. Normally it's Mikunis or Kain. I'm not sure if I pronounce that correct, but it uh, is a Japanese brand. So these throttles are being used in different bikes. No, they are being used in different bikes. I myself have a set on. I will leave a link to that video in this in this after the live, finish done with the live, where you guys can see how it was actually done. But um, there's a lot of things on these throttles that is not needed. For one, these flaps here in front, these are your chokes. These are your chokes. So you see here, this is where there's a shaft running here and the shaft running here. The shaft that is for your bike throat for the, 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 the choke pedal pedals. So that also that has a TPS at the bottom. But another coming looking garage makeover video. You guys like the makeover video now? Um yes. um <coughs> Well, to answer your question as to uh, why, I mean, as to when we will be doing another garage makeover video, um, there's a lot of things we need to do. There's a spin event coming up next, week, next month, 
So we first have to get the shit box uh, painted and we have to do quite a number of stuff on the car. We still have to fix the gearbox, paint the car um, and a number of other things. And this is my other personal work as well. Okay, like no. the wheels there in the background that yeah. all has to be painted, polished and uh, that's all customers work. So I can't exactly put the garage ahead of the customers work because that will just not be good for business. And also, paint is expensive, and things that I want to do cost money to the to do to the garage. So yeah, mm -hmm. but don't worry, we will make a, a part two. The east is a part two coming out, um, probably part three also. But uh, don't pick it up from my car. the bottom. Don't you do that? But anyway, we are the the, the, the questions. Oh yeah, and guys, I also have a, for those who's driving a, a BMW E36 or cars that drive a, have a 5x120, no? 5x120 PCD, I've got a, a nice special wheel for you. If you want to do the floor, just watch with me, I'm going to go up with epoxy floors, Brendan. Which Brendan is Brendan? Where you from, me, bro? But the carb setup now, you can uh, private me. I will give you some information on the carb setup. But I, so I don't lose my train of thought. So that is another video where Noor is going to show you guys when you do the, the garage over. Like I said, Brendan is off there. You can organize the epoxy flooring. What's can part the swap? You can swap past me, bro. Yeah, and leave your number down below so I can just WhatsApp you before I forget because both of us are not uh, very good at the... Uh, Scatterbrains, bro. If Scatterbrain was a person... Ah, nah, yeah. Kijk, kijk, daar weer vergeet, maar ze zei... Eh, ze heeft mij... Ik heb een paar te gesoek. Yo, wat ze brengen is, ik kan zien aan me, bro. Want ik doe op alles als voor dat... Coming back to the, th the, the throttle, so the front part there is two shafts, right? The front one, these flaps now, this is for your cold start or for your um, your choke, right? So it's running on a TPS as well and it's running with gears, it's motorized, right? You don't need that, you don't need that, you don't need that. So you can take that off. Again, I've seen the link, you guys will see how my setup is done. Mine is, these are 42 mil, and the way you measure, this no, is tapered. In other words, the front, where is it, Vernier? Don't be fooled. A lot of guys do this. They'll go measure the front, right? If I have to measure the front, yeah. No, with your vernier. But I can't fuck up that It will read it 52. I don't know if you guys can see there. 52 more. That is not the precise size. So the millimeters refers to the size of the butterflies. So the butterflies, the primary butterflies, is responsible. Oh, see that in the back? Oh, oh, that's your butterfly. Is that butterfly is over there, right? You have to measure that. So the back part, well, that bike ITB is welcome. Your 60 valve obvious intake works in any car, me bro. Works in any car. You can make it work. You fabricate it, bro. Don't let that one waste you. Nah, that will never work, bro. Throttle is basically just there to supply your fuel and your air. So you just need to make a way so you can connect it to your intake. It's all it's, it's all it's needed, bro. It's much more simple than your car direct, your your water system, your ECU is responsible to uh, responsible for how your fuel and your air. Air is delivered mechanically. Your fuel is controlled through your injectors now by your ECU. But uh, wait, let me know. I'm working to a point here. So the back part now, you have measure that. So you measure that part. So it says it's 42 mil, I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's the size of the throttle blade, because here from the throttle blade to the other back, it's straight, it's the same diameter. No? So it's 43, 42 mil, did I say 43? 42 mil throttle. So you don't need this, you can, ideally you can remove this. So all these screws, you can remove this member of this front part. So like I can say, I'm a Raja Zuka say. The reason why I can tell you this is because I've done it. I won't speak about stuff I have no knowledge of. It also has a TPS in front, you can remove all of that. So for the back part, it has a TPS as well. Here's this TPS. There's a TPS. The primary one, 
That's this is for your chill, and this is for your your actual throttle blade. So that is your TPS. TPS stands for Throttle Positioning Sensor. Sensor. Did I just say sensor? Throttle Positioning Sensor. Aha! I get on a TPS. Yeah, Throttle Positioning Sensor. So that sends a signal to your ECU. Uh, you can either use the other South that because that one's yours. Dictator, standard dictator or spitronics as there's a whole political debate about that my bro whatever you're running that's completely up to you i prefer dictator standard dictator primary reason because it's super easy to connect we have shown how to connect it on our twin cam and i my with the help of our buddy siraj adams he helped us with that basically we just had a diagram and we connected it up yeah your throttles come with this little harness this little harness now is responsible the one connection part is for your tps no? so that one there is for your tps the tps normally has three three points no? so that is your three points and then you have your injectors nice you must send me a video uh i want to check out your bolt member or you can leave a link if you did a youtube video then we can post it also right and uh yeah so little honor so the only things you'll need is uh the four injectors and also the injectors that's in here that's fine my bro if you're running say 1600 1800 up to i wouldn't say to, it depends what you're running if you're, if you're gonna be running as I, I would recommend it for normal pump fuel anything else like ethanol or methanol you'll have to confirm with your with your tuner but um what i have noticed is these injectors right i have in my packing my setup on the b20 on the b20 straight fit member on my my bike throttles um the fbr fuel pressure regulator for those that don't know what the fuel pressure regulator is your fuel will go in here's your fuel rail so the fuel rail no? and then your fuel rail is connected to supplying fuel to your injectors as you apply to the injectors so if your throttle is sitting like this as you can see your injectors are sitting at about a 30 degree angle 35 degree angle so the injector sits at the back right so once the throttles the blade mechanically opens a little bit now fast did that now yeah when it opens a little bit yay oh, yes. <laughs> once it opens up a little bit so your tps will send a signal to your ecu show uh, telling it that the throttle is opening a little bit and that's the point where it will be giving more fuel through your your your, your injectors but uh, when your throttle base is closed the pulse no you'll hear when you like start up your cups so the first startup it's squirting fuel through here to your combustion chamber so there is fuel for ignition so when the flaps open no there is already fuel there and you have your spark obviously for those who don't know for combustion you need three components you need your air fuel and uh, spark oh yeah sounds good and seems much cheaper than 20 off yeah so um pros and cons to this i can't think of any cons bro. pros to us that everything is one unit one single unit so this casing here no, and holds your injectors your fuel rail um and your throttle blade whereas with 20 valve throttles you have a housing in front for your throttle blades a part in the middle for your injectors your injectors is normally top fit and then you still have to have an adapter and that adapter bolts onto your side of intake i was gonna go that route but it was super heavy and chunky and it also creates steps whereas here it's flowy so what I did was I have a silicone hosing from here and I welded on the runners onto my standard intake flange. I will show you again, you guys will see it in that video. And uh, I cut it to size and they basically welded it up for me. I would recommend going aluminium. Do take care though. No? The reason why I didn't go with 42 mm throttles because the amount of air that it supplies. My little 1500 engine will not be able to process it um yes it will be to process it but it's going to take a lot of time and that's something i don't have i want throttle response so your air velocity your air speed increases once it's smaller it's like the same if i have to like like check the amount of speed whereas if i the air speed through the small uh what's his name it's faster the velocity the air speed is faster opposed to a bigger air so bigger ain't always better my bro your power range will come in rather late whereas with the smaller blades that's here at the bottom that's very responsive like that and also my intake runners the diameter of my intake runners was close to 
was close to the outside diameter of the throttles. I have 34 mils, these are 32s. I have not been able to see this, I have not been able to see this. Now, here, there is a lot of other things, bro. So, yeah, what else did I, what, what did I get? So, you have a fuel rail. So, what do you, what, what all do you need to have it running? Right, so, fuel supply. So, from your tank, or, and you need a, a high pressure fuel pump, I would recommend anything to two and a half bar up. Best degree to build intake at. I'll get to that now. Me and Gus were having a, a, a talk about that. I, mine initially, put up like a straight. No? And then I would struggle to start it in the morning. Reason why? The runner. Runner's about this long. The same length as the, the ITBs. So the fuel would squirt here. And then it would be laying here. And combustion chambers over here. Hope you, I'm trying to make sense here now. So I had to swing it a few times for the engine vacuum to draw that fuel into the combustion chamber. And in the winter, that's not cool. So I angled it upwards. So what gravity fed will like assist to uh, bring it down to the combustion chamber. And I went up from 65 kilowatts up to 71 kilowatts just by changing the angle. Just by changing. I'm not. Yeah, that's literally the only thing I did. I changed the, the, the intake. And also I took a few steps away. I ported it out. Uh, port matched the flange to the cylinder head port. I ported that and uh, my bro, I feel as I had six, five, five, six kilowatts extra and it would start easy in the mornings as well. Um, a buddy of mine, JP, uh, he has a similar, he has actually the same setup on his 1400. I'll try and tag him. Uh, he made an intake that's bolted on. You guys will see mine is I'm using silicone, silicone hosing and hose clamps to what's his name it and it's like a light, it's small. So it's not a lot of weight on that boss and also have a U-flow engine. U-flow meaning in here and exhaust at the bottom. Whereas you guys saw with gas, he has inlet here and exhaust at the back. So that's cross flow, it's cross flow. I have U-flow, you know, that's an A-series is U-flow. Your normal 8 valve city golf is U-flow. That's an L-series is, is, is U-flow. So, um, deep will hear by it. Okay, now we, we're looking forward to making it done. They are DP again, my bro. So, um, yeah, so again, what all you need? Fuel supply, 2.5 bar pump is enough. And then you have your fuel pressure regulator. There is a built-in fuel pressure regulator. What that basically does is, uh, if there's if the fuel has to have to flow past straight through, no? uh, there won't be enough fuel stationary and um, there won't be enough pressure. A little bit has to be held back for, so the injectors can work uh, optimally. And normally you'll have uh, your intake, your feed uh, at about six mil, and your return line back to the tank will be like four mil. So your return has to be smaller than your feed line. Um, so yeah, you guys see a lot of vacuum pipes. You, you don't need all of that vacuum stuff. You'll need like one vacuum line and that will be just for your your brakes. How's it Wafik? Uh, Wafik, as you could me, but we're doing a video with it. I'll see if there's any bias for it. Why are you asking is that you to What I think for What's his name? Um what will I know to say it? Yeah. Yeah, the fuel return thingy key. Six mile in, four mile out. Um to be debated, but I prefer that way. Six mile in, four mile back. And then obviously your fuel pressure regulator as well. Oh, the vacuum lines? Nah, you don't need the vacuum lines. Scum's come to get the biomass. Nah, don't worry, always be asking me about the price. Um, now they can leave a comment, we can organize it, we can correct you wherever you answer that figure, don't worry. Hey, he's a basic sold already. Anyway, <laughs> so vacuum lines you don't need, the only vacuum line you will need is for your brake booster. Brake booster. Uh, you won't need it, the others because, yeah, you don't need it, maybe all this other stuff, you can just blank it off, I blank all mine off. I didn't need any use any of it. I just used uh, one vacuum line on my where do you recommend the intakes to be uh, made for this ITBs to fit. Um Twin Can Club, you must in PM bro. Uh, there's Justin Miller. Uh, basically in any in, in the engineering shop, if I could give you advice, I would say get the cylinder head like yours, get the spare intake like yours, cut the flanges off. Uh, again, the video to that now is on our channel already, and I will leave a link to that video. So I don't need to repeat myself every time, but uh, appreciate uh, you guys inquiring. It means a lot. Um, another thing, if you guys are new to our channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, it will mean a lot if you actually subscribe. Um, yeah, if of course you like it, 
not forcing you. If you like the content, you can subscribe and you can also click on the notification bell so you guys get all notified whenever we go live or whenever we do post anything. Sometimes we post shorts and stories and uh, whatnot. So, um, yeah, fuel supply, injectors. You can also change your injectors. Uh, B, your B series Honda, like your tip, it fits a straight fit. Mine is straight fit. I have B20 injectors on. Even if my FPR is from Honda, straight fit. Um, yeah. Oh, and the casing works the same as with your side drops. These two butterflies run on one shaft. These two butterflies run on one shaft. So you only have one sink screw. For those that don't know, sink, sinking means you want all four throttle blades to open at exactly the same time. So all four cylinders get exactly the same amount of air and fuel. We have a synchrometer. No, I'm not selling it. Nobody want to bring a synchrometer here just to show them. I'm not selling the synchrometer. The same. You can use the synchrometer in your car, but it is as well. Your 25 throttles, if you're running four throttles there, each one is individual. That's Polo fuel filter, you both fuel pressure. A lot of Polo, mm, uh, how's it by Moonlight Auto? Yeah, your Polo 9 in there, they come with a, the, the fuel filter comes with a, a, a regulator in. It comes with a regulator. So we have line in, line out, and here the back of the line in, and has like a, a what's his name, but uh, Oh, the holy grail. No. Oh! This here, this here is a synchrometer. So what it does, just air flow. You see that little red there? Placing this in front, the engine's vacuum. The under gauge will give you a reading on here and there's a screw in the middle where you can basically sink the throttles there's a small little screw there also another thing which you have is your idle speed screw so this thing you know what it does is that will open let's see work toyota work anything my bro what size the 1600 engine you can go with this bro you can go with this i was just for me with uh, the 34 muscle was I want to talk, bro. I want to talk, and it was just easier to make an uh, intake for it. Again, I will leave a link to that video. So, as, I don't know if you guys can see, but as you turn, this now touches the blades, the shaft and the blades, and that actually goes open. So, if your thing is revving or idling too low, 600, 700 RPM, you can just turn it up, it will bump it up to 1000 RPM, whatever the case may be. Uh, vacuum lines, you don't need to connect. Um, yeah oh i'm lying carburetors work like that this here has like a little vacuum line so it allows air in your into your system apologies don't slot me now apologies it, it activates this here no and, uh, it's like a small little hole right and it opens and closes it when you turn this so all it does is allows air in and then your idle speed will go up so uh yeah don't let all this other stuff fool you or scare you, my bro. You don't need that. Like I said, the, there's a whole contraption in front. You don't need it. You can take all of that off, bro. Throttles, the, the, the trumpets. Salam, okay. No, you can come say salam here to the men, sir. You, you want to come join the live? So, uh, you guys will see on my ITBs now, I have a set of trumpets. The trumpets do help. Besides looking cool at, uh, at the Alps with, with air speed and it looks cool and it sounds better remember longer trumpets now gives you bottom in power shorter trumpets give you top in um, i think it's 4eg garage guys can go check it out i think the dude is from i'm not sure if he's from america where he's from but i get a lot of information from him i'll try and tag him in the description he's a super cool dude very informative they do things from changing cams changing headers and he dyno runs it every time he has like his own dyno so he will do like one small thing change the ram tubes change the material change the length and check out the graph you have like three runs uh how's it oh yeah 69 by car because i should use muhammad along um the carbs is very challenging bro the carbs is, 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 is i tried it i did it it's, it's super rewarding it's much cheaper and if you get it right the performance and the sound more you basically get the same performance out of the carbs as you would get out of your itbs but 
the reliability issue. The reliability issue. This key stuff, I can just start up and I can hoi. The bike bike carburetors, it doesn't have spray, so you have to prime it. And you like normally in a carb, you like chuk, 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 five pumps in the morning, act like a sprayer to shoot in some little fuel, then you can muscle gym so you can actually start the car. These the, the bike carbs don't have that bra. So I had to physically choke them or prime it in order for to start in the morning. But throughout the day it would be fine. Um, they can idle like a low end and has like a unique tone, like music to your ears. People always be like, we put a watch you're riding a death. It doesn't sound like side drops. It does not sound like side drops. Even though technically it is side drops, it doesn't sound like a conventional Weber or your Delortos. But guys, I see I've reached the 30 minute mark there. Um, again, apologies, I'm a scatterbrain. It's really hard for me to keep track of what I said last. Because as I'm sitting here, like this thing distracting me, like here's the battery, the set of carbs, there's still a gearbox I need to finish. Uh, no, they want to finish the wheels. I do apologize for that. I'm a little scatterbrain, but uh, I hope I answered uh, most of the questions. Again, proof is in the pudding. If you guys want to see what these do, you can go check out the link to that, cha um, that video. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. Consider subscribing. You can go speak to your wife. You can go speak to Eva. Look here, go have some Asura, console there. Is it wise of us to actually subscribe to the channel? Yes, it will be rewarding, my bro. We, um, we try our utmost to share with you guys what little we have and what little knowledge we have. And the small little platform we have, we try and uh, promote, you know, the small guys, my bro. The big guy as well, big guy as well. And for those that don't know, we do have our hustle. Nur does the wheels and I sell the styling parts. We do Korea goods all over South Africa. And we try and do um, product reviews of the items that we sell. So uh, that being said, guys, it's been awesome. Thanks to everybody that tuned in. Highly appreciate it. Much love to everybody all over that's watching it. If you're in Australia, New Zealand, America, UK, Makisaki, I shouldn't have said Makisaki. It doesn't matter to all our local guys. Thanks again, man. And hope you guys enjoy that. Was it formative? Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. No, not anything from you? No. Nah. Fonzo, anything from you? Good. So we're going to be having some of the Guys, a safe now. Salutas. Thanks. Thank